Heidi ho viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with the Lost and Damned walkthrough videos. Now, this video is a continuation of the problems that um, Johnny has with a fractured chapter of the Lost. Brian, who has accused Johnny of setting up Billy, the leader, is in open rebellion in a way. And as seen in end of chapter, the Lost Motorcycle Club is now divided. And, well, it's not good for business. And, uh, oh, God, I'm saying and an awful lot. i got to stop doing that. Anyway, Ray Bocchio, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, the man that Nico deals with eventually, and the man who is now kind of um, Johnny's ex-girlfriend, Ashley. Yeah, all this drama. Anyway, he wants Johnny to basically take care of Brian. And he has the location where Brian is staying. And Brian, well, Johnny can make a choice. Either kill Brian or let him live. But either way, Johnny will have to deal with him. This mission is called Bad Standing. Gentlemen, Johnny, you remember Ray, right? Yeah, how you doing? How am I doing? I got the feds all over me. I got a boss who's a paranoid wreck, and I got a guy above me in the food chain with a brain like an overcooked naughty joke. <laughs> Things are great. Yeah? Sounds like shit to me, but whatever. So, uh, why are you here? I heard you boys is having a little internal dispute. Yeah, where'd you hear that from? From Ashley. You friends with Ashley? Everybody's friends with Ashley, tough guy. <laughs> uh, you know, she's a good kid and all. A little messed up, but, you know, she needed a friend. Ray told us where Brian is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where? And how the hell does he know? All right, 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 right. Don't go breaking my balls, all right? I talked to Brian a half an hour ago. And listen, I understand where you guys are coming from. And on one hand, I don't give a shit. A bunch of grease monkeys want to have an all-out gangbang be my guest. We're all adults. Sort of. <laughs> but right now, I need calm. Billy's on the inside. I need a steady flow of merchandise. So it's in my interest to see that you boys calm things down. End this little squabble and get back to work. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later, yeah, Ray. bye, buddy. So what do you think, Johnny? I think that guy makes my skin crawl. But now that you mention it, so does Brian. Right now, he's our problem. God damn it. Brian was my brother. Yeah, he was, but so were a lot of people. I don't feel like that shit means too much anymore. So? So I'm gonna go pay Brian a visit. And see just what that fat fucker's problem is. See you all later. Now, if you've made a call to Clay and had him drop off the um, Hexer motorcycle for Johnny, it now will appear in this mission. The ride to Brian's safe house is kind of long, so I'm going to fast forward through it and get to the uh, main part of the story. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in prison or anything, but I, you know, I, I take it. Fucking Johnny the Rat. Now, as this cut scene is showing, the best way to do this is to go into the back entrance and take down Brian. And you can use any weapon you choose. My advice, carbine rifle, of course. And the submachine gun, maybe even the automatic shotgun. But you're going to encounter resistance once. Johnny enters the house. Um, I'm going to be safe. Have Johnny walk up to the wall here. 
climb over and sneak into the backyard. I don't think you really have to do this, but for safety's sake, you want to, again, sneak into the house. And once you encounter resistance, just start firing and taking down the bodyguards for Brian. Now, around every corner, there's going to be guys shooting at you. And you got to get the dot, aiming dot on them, or at least partially on them, and hit them. Uh, I switched to the submachine gun because there's more ammo. And these guys are using submachine guns. So once Johnny walks over them, he can replenish the ammo. And again, there's going to be guys in this other room. And you got to take them out as well. And I'm talking over this because you can kind of hear some music. You got to worry about those steps. And once you are basically through the house and taking down the bad guys or the bodyguards, then, yeah, you can uh, make your decision on whether you want to kill Brian or not. And again, you got to go through all the rooms. Oh, and that was a shotgun. And there's the guy with the shotgun. Hit him with, he's gone down. This other guy, take this guy down and keep shooting because they take a few hits to go down. And you want to go through. I don't think that there's other people who are going to pop out. But you want to double check. This house is really narrow and it's kind of a circle. This is the bathroom area. Again, with the gun, you can shoot the door open to see if there's someone behind it. So yeah, this is where uh, Johnny had started. So now he's going to work his way up the stairs. And I can guarantee you there's people at the top of the stairs. And um, they're going to try and shoot down at you. Like that guy right there. He kind of rolls down and hits Johnny. You get up to the top of the stairs here. And there is this room. Uh, shoot the door open. No one's popping out. And in this room, the other room, you got to be a little careful about. But in this room, there is only a thing to get your life back up. No armor, but these guys are going to be a pain to take down. Okay, these guys in this little room, yeah, they're a little hard to take down. You don't want to throw bombs for sure, but you might want to switch to a more aggressive weapon other than the um, submachine gun. Aiming is a little bit of a pain in the butt here. So, yeah, you, get, you just got to kind of get the, yeah, the automatic shotgun here. And, yeah, this thing can just blast away here and maybe get the dot right. Get this guy, that guy he's shooting on, yeah, clipped him. And now someone comes to take his place. With the automatic shotgun, you just got to get the dot on someone. And they're going to go spinning out after they get hit. This is kind of a pain to track Brian down. Um, yep, I'm switched to handgun. A little more precise. And now I don't want to switch. Yeah, the submachine gun again. Try and get this guy, and now we can go and take down Brian. Like that. 
extreme metal. Body count rising, mutilation, devastation, scream of the sky, America, the world is not listening. You wouldn't kill a brother, you wouldn't. I'll be a ghost, man. God, I'm, I'm sorry, please. Come on, for once, do not be a bitch. You've got to take it like a man. Okay, auto-saving. I really don't like the music playing in the background, but now you make a phone call to Jimmy to let him know what's going on. Jonathan, where's Brian? Halfway to hell, my brother. We don't need to worry about that little fucker pulling nothing. Good to know. I'll stop looking over my shoulder. Well, until Billy gets out of prison at least. Stay in touch. Now... It's suggested by Jim that Johnny should use the house as a place to rest. And to be honest with you, it's a crappy house. You're better off staying in the clubhouse. Plus, there is uh, an, a bulletproof vest nearby in the clubhouse. And there's some decent places where you can get weapons if need be. This area is not really good as far as you're using it as a place to crash and save. The clubhouse is actually closer. So don't bother using this house as a safe house unless you are close and you really need to save. Other than that, it's been a fun video. Um, if you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Oh, and Ashley calls to tell you about some meeting with Ray and stuff. Yeah, 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 whatever. And then you're going to end up meeting up with her eventually too for another job. But, you know, anyway, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Even if you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down button. Um, I'm trying to grow my viewership. And if you like this type of video, um, well, hit the subscribe button. I post four times a week, quite regularly. And that's a lot of content to watch through. You don't have to watch through it all in one shot. But you can keep coming back if you subscribe. and watch my content at your leisure or if you're looking for tips or tricks or hints either way i'm brad proprietor barstool entertainment as always thanks for stopping by <laughs>